Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. And uh, welcome back to a new video on the Gifto or the GFT token. Had to do an update on that. We actually got a major bullish breakout over um, in the last, uh, well, what is it? In the last couple of hours. Yeah, overnight. I mean, during my night, at least. If you're from Asia, it happened probably early in the morning. Uh, broke above 2.15 cents, which was the main resistance, even though it was not that respected anymore in the last uh, 24 hours. But broke above that, broke above, well, multiple levels here in this whole range between 2.1 and 2.2 cents. Got up towards 2.5 right here, where I actually took profits on the, on my long trade on GFT. And uh, and right now the big question is, is will it continue rallying higher? That's what we'll talk about in this video. I'll try to tell you everything you need to know. Before we dive into that though, I do want to briefly mention that I have my own premium trading group in which, for example, in the chat room, which is also part of the premium experience, uh, I actually said that I was buying GFT right here. Uh, since then has been an amazing trade. It's, um, it's, it's almost up 100% since then. So if you'd like to know my trades as signals, but also enter a chat room full of traders, which is very valuable, uh, consider joining. Links will be down in the description. But for now, on to GFT. So overall, GFT right now, there, there seems to be quite a lot of bullish momentum under certain cryptos in the market. And then I'm talking about manipulated cryptos because GFT does seem to be manipulated. You can see right now, it, it, it's a bit weird because overall, the volume for GFT is actually not that... Um, not that alarming and the open interest and the volume for GFT, sure, they've gone up overnight. So that caused some of that bullish momentum, but they're not as high as when, where they were on, on Sunday, for example, when it was really trying to break above that. So it's, um, it's a bit of a difficult situation for GFT. It's, it's really unlike any other situation uh, we're seeing right now, but technically in terms of the price, it is very, very bullish. Like it never it never really retraced that far like from from these areas it did retrace to the 0 0.5 fib uh, but then recovered instantly afterwards then retraced only to the 382 never hit the emas and now like i said got that bullish breakout so now it's all about 2.5 cents i would say all right so i do like the, the 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 main level and i'm actually still in a in a partial position on my long trade and the next level i'll be looking at to take profits is this level right here probably around three cents there's a strong fibonacci um extension level and just historically it's it's a psychological level and here you can see at 2.8 cents there's also the 200 ema so this is really uh, the level to get to but the thing is is that i do expect some more resistance at 2.5 cents 2.5 cents is it's too too strong of a resistance level to only touch once all right so i i do i think it's all depending on that area I think we'll get up there again with GFT. If we'll break above that, all right, then we'll get to 2.8 and 3 cents instantly. That's not what I, ex I mean, it's it's definitely a possibility. It's not what I expect, especially not with the open interest and the volume lower like this. I would say we need more momentum to do that. So I would say it's more likely that GFT will find some more resistance at 2.5 and that it will start to test its support level between 2.1 and 2.2. To really gauge the bullish momentum and to see whether that that bullish move is still possible so that's what i think is more likely i drop down to that level consolidation on top of that or at least some some support not really a consolidation and if it's able to hold that for like two days like we also did right here right here we were also able to hold uh, support for two three days then i do expect that that bullish breakout and that move up to 2.8 and three cents but in the time that it's holding support at 2.1 and 2.2, like I said, it's testing it. So if at any moment it drops down below that, I would say this is the top. And we'll see it drop down towards 1.7. And then from there, we'll talk again and we'll see what's possible. Um, but I, I, I think that's the that's the most likely scenario, that, that GFT will test that area between 2.2 and 2.1. And then it's really a 50-50 chance whether it's going to hold or break. Um, I would say it's more likely to hold at this point of time, just to, to give you my thoughts. Um, but that's something we'll, we'll have to see. And um, it's better to wait for some confirmation regarding that uh, matter. So that's my take on GFT. If you do have any questions, as always, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.